Hello, this is Tom with Kerr Consulting, and I'm going to give a demonstration of our journal entry import anywhere tool to uh, quickly um, bring in journal entries into X3. These could be payroll entries, uh, travel expenses, month end uh, journal entries that you're creating, but it just gives you a way to quickly import or get that data into X3. So I have a new function in X3 called uh, JC or JE Anywhere Import. It is listed under my financial menu, GE import. I have it on my process map here as well. So I'm just going to click my process map and we bring up the import tool. Now this is kind of a combination between entering a journal entry and importing. You enter the fields for the header. I enter my date that I want to post this. So let's say this is yesterday's. I give it my description. I give it a source document, a reference. Reference one, two, three, whatever that wants to be. So these are the normal fields on a journal entry. I can fill those in here. We also can specify the journal type. Uh, by default, we uh, default to the general adjustment journal type. But if I had a different journal type for payroll or anything like that, I could fill those in or choose those if I wanted to. We also can mark this as a reversing journal entry. So if I hit the reversing flag and the reversing date, X3 is going to flag that journal entry in the following month. It's, it'll allow me to generate my reversal for this if I'm doing some approvals or things like that. So basically, I have to fill in the post date. Everything else is optional. It's really for your searching, your reference on your reports. And then what you do is you use the template in Excel uh, to, to generate that journal entry or to format that journal entry. These are the columns. This is what the order is that we expect account number first, debits, credits, and then my example here, I have one dimension, and that's my cost center dimension. We can bring in all nine dimensions if, if, if you're using all nine dimensions inside of X3. So this template would change based on your actual dimension. So right now I'm just giving an example of a cost center dimension. And then we have our line item descriptions. And if this is a control account, if this was like a PAR account, we would have to put in the BP number that this transaction is associated with. So that's just respecting X3's uh, control account rules. These are not control accounts, so my BP is going to be blank. But basically, once we get our journal entry formatted here, or we take last month's journal entries and change whatever we need to change, dimensions or dollar amounts, or ideally we would have outside systems, our payroll processor and whatnot, formatting or generating something in like this, or you might have to manipulate your payroll data to put it in this layout. But if you put it in this template and save it, then we can quickly turn around and import this into X3. So what I do is I do a control A to select all my data in Excel, and including the header row. If you want to copy the header row, you can, or you can exclude that. When we import this, we're looking for the header row. If it's there, we exclude it. So you don't really have to worry about it. So it's just very easy for me to hit control A, control C to select everything and copy it into my clipboard. Then I go back into the journal entry import tool and I hit uh, paste or control V. So I hit control V and I paste all those, all that data from Excel inside of X3. Now when I do this from Excel and paste this into X3, there's actually a tab character between all the columns. So that's how we know where one column starts and one column ends. So it's a tab delimited data. Now what we have to do is we have to do the verify button before we can create our journal entry. And so the verify button will look at all the account numbers and make sure that those are exist or valid accounts in X3. It'll look at the dimension values and make sure this dimension code is set up in X3. Then it also looks at our debits and credits and making sure this is a balanced journal entry. So I hit verify, it's going to look at all the information and it's going to say it's a valid file. And then I get the post button and I can go ahead and actually post and create the journal entry in X3. So let's go ahead and do that. So I hit post, it will go ahead, format everything, create the journal entry. And so I got journal, journal entry number 13. So I can copy that and we can go look at journal entry 13. I'll go click on that, bring up journal entry 13. So it was posted yesterday. So my uh, date was yesterday. Um, and then we have our description up here. We have our reference number down here. And then we have our line items. And we brought in our description line items as well as the proper accounts. If I go over a little bit further, I will see my dimension value. So the first line had my customer support department for that expense. So everything's all set. And so our journal, journal entry is done. At this point, I could go in and actually do my next journal entry. So I could blank this out, go to Excel, do my next template, and bring that in, 
change my reference numbers, hit verify and post again. So I can quickly go through and create all those journal entries one after the other. So that's just a quick demonstration of our journal entry import anywhere tool by Career Consulting. Thanks for watching.